Well, let's jump into our next story. 1.2 million dirham in cash in total was found in Dubai cabs this year. Wow. Um, but before we get into that, Sam, have you ever left a phone behind in a Dubai cab? Yeah. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Who hasn't? Yeah, literally. Did you get it back? Yeah. Not easily though. Not easily, I must say. Mm. It took a bit of work. But you got it back. I got it back, yeah. So did 12,300 people oh. in the first half of this year only. Every oh. single time I've lost a phone in a Dubai cab, I've got it back. Lucky you. Yeah. But 12,000 people are also lucky too. <laughs> you got yours back too. Yeah, but it took a, like a lot of hard work anyway. But I guess like it depends on the situation. But how valuable, my phone's over there, how valuable is your phone? Very. You know, in terms of like, it's not even in terms of a privacy thing, I'm not too bothered about that, but just in terms of how long did it take you to get it back versus the amount of money that you would have had to put to get a new one Plus, the amount of time and, you know, like, Kareem, adding your details in. Like, I moved recently. I'm having to re-add my details every time. First world problem, I know. But it's all of these little things that, like, the amount of time to, like, download all of your apps and remember all of your passwords for these apps. Like, the hardship of losing your phone and your photos. Don't even get me started because who actually knows how to use a cloud? I don't. <laughs> oh, you're right. You're right. Thanks for putting this in perspective. So when I lost my phone in a cab, I just paid like 200 to the driver and like had to convince him with my heart and soul and head and 10 other people to like, please come back to where you dropped me and just give me back my phone, I'll pay you. But like, that's how I got my phone back. But yes, yeah, you're right. Like compared to the amount I would have had to pay to get a brand new phone and put all the details in and just spend so much time, invest all the time into like, you know, setting up a new phone. In other countries, your phone doesn't come back. Oh, definitely not. Yeah, you're right. Like, it just doesn't. I, yeah. Like, I've lost so many phones in my day. I haven't actually lost one in quite some time. <laughs> touch wood, I'm traveling oh soon. Oh my Where's God. The wood? Oh, just touch your head. Like, just paper, touch your head. Paper, it's paper is fine. <laughs> okay. I'm traveling soon. Kelly's my phone. <laughs> By the way, your head is okay too. Is your head okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm not coming my head with. Ah, uh-huh. gotcha. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> where are we? It's, we really live in an amazing country. So not only were 12,300 phones left behind in taxes last year, those people got their phones back, as well as 2,819 electronic devices, 766 <clears throat> passports were returned, and 342 laptops, and 1.2 million in cash. returned to people who lost it in Dubai in the first half of this year. That just goes to show you the incredible honesty of cab drivers in Dubai, reported by RTA. Just amazing. That's incredible, honestly. Uh, but to give you some more stats, 49,353 complaints and suggestions were lodged, which is uh, dropped by 7% in comparison with last year. If you want to see those, uh, the calls, like, that, those are just stats, some stats for you. But the call center of the Vice RTA has received around uh, 900,000 plus calls during the first half of 2022. And you can call them directly at 800-1990 if you have any issues, complaints, feedback for um, anything related to pu- public transportation in Dubai. But that's amazing. Like the statistics really go to show just how, uh, how much integrity the people of Dubai have. Mm. Like, it it's just doesn't happen in any of the other country. What I really loved about the stat you said at the end there, RTAs received over 950,000 calls, so nearly a million calls, mm. nearly a million calls in the first half of this year, which is kind of mind-boggling, considering we're a population in Dubai of 3 billion people. And what they said was those calls are complaints and suggestions. So my question is, yeah. how many are complaints and how many are suggestions? Because mm-hmm. people love a mode, people love a rant. Yeah. So I would love to know the... ratio complaints to suggestions where do you think it sits i complaints? think complaints will Up be much higher suggestions yeah. i think it's always complaints suggestions usually because people don't really i mean if i were to call i would call if i was you know like dealing with something and i needed assistance right away yeah you don't call for the good stuff yeah like if you want to give feedback or like you know I, this is what i face this is what you guys should improve on or like this was amazing like you would rarely So I think complaints would be much higher. And the Dubai, like RTA in general, has a pretty fluid system. For example, the lost and found, like if you lose your, uh, if you lose something, anything, you just make a call. You have to give the details, like where you lost it on the phone, the metro, uh, you lodge it, like I've done this before. And then a day or two later, then you get the information um, 
you get the information that your phone has potentially been found. Like, look, by the way, this is not a, sometimes when we talk about, like, leave your door unlocked. This is not a call for people to leave their door unlocked. Proceed with safety. Have that level of caution about you. But know that in, I would love to know the percentages, but a lot of people do get their phones back. For sure, but I'll tell you what, yeah, like Casey said, be diligent, like no matter when, where, what you're doing. Because my friend, he lost his wallet in a cab, never got it back. And that's just one example of like, it doesn't always work out in your favor. So always do a quick check, no matter where you're at, like if you're in the metro, if you're in a cab, if you're in a bus, if you're um, in, in a, on a flight, no matter where you are, just always look back, take a quick check before you leave anything, like exit. You might, you know, have lost your, I don't know, key, like your key might have fallen out. Like so many times, like I've lost my house keys just mm. because it fell out of my pocket. So always do a quick check before you leave any of these transportation mediums. Yeah. But it's just amazing. Like my mom forgets things all the time. She left her wallet in Dubai Mall and it came back with like cash in it. More cash? Not more cash. <laughs> But have it. Like imagine getting your wallet back with the cash in it. Like I think it's like even... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. expected that if you lose your wallet and it gets handed in, the cash is gone, right? And all your cards are there and you're thankful because the card's there and you're thinking, oh, I'll probably give that as a tip anyway, whatever, and obviously, yeah. whatever is in it. Mum got her wallet back with her cash in it. Oh my God, but it would have literally been the best thing if, it, if she got it back with more cash. Shout out to the people at Dubai Mall. Um, 